Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm doing a quick DIY how to build cargo space trunk drawers in the fifth gen Forerunners. Um, I recently bought a 2017 Forerunner, and I plan to use it for overlanding and do a full build on it, which I'm sure there will be many more videos after this one, since this is the first one pertaining to that car and all the other ones have been about my BMW. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing the DIY um, wooden trunk drawer system and I figured I'd film how I'm doing it as there's lots of different ways people have done it um, but this is the one that I saw so first let me just go through everything that you're gonna need or that I need because I'm basically starting with nothing um, so I bought two clamps this is just to help with gluing and screwing all this stuff together um, wood glue uh, silicone sealant glue which is going to be used to glue acrylic down to the wood which I'll explain that later um, an acrylic knife score cutter thing um, nails or screws I mean um, I'm using MDF three-quarter inch uh, plywood for the outer shell and then I'm using half inch five ply pre-treated birch wood for the actual drawers. Um, and then I've got my drills, my saw, stuff like that. Um, thankfully, when I went to Home Depot to buy the sheets of plywood, I brought a like cut sheet that I had mocked up on two sheets of plywood, the two, the MDF and the five ply, and they were nice enough to cut it all out for me. Um, so I pretty much don't have to do any cutting, which was really, really nice of them. Um, and then I already pre-measured everything, so I'll go ahead and put on the screen the cut sheet that I had. That way if you want to do the exact same box design I'm doing, you can do that. Um, but yeah, so first thing I'm going to do is take the bottom MDF part that's going to lay on the trunk floor and put the sides on and the back on and yeah so let's get started with that so as you can see i have already put the back piece on and i'm starting to do the two sides i start by putting wood glue across the board and then clamping it down just making sure all the corners match up nicely and then clamping it on the near side as well as the far side. You can then take a wet rag and wipe away the glue that squeezes out. This helps just keep it clean and a lot easier later on. So then I took my drill and did small little guide holes along the bottom. That way the screws would go in much easier and wouldn't run out the side. I then took a bigger drill bit and just drilled very slightly in so that way the heads of the screws would sit flush or below the board and not stick out. And then you just run along the bottom and put all the screws in. And once you have put all the screws in, you can then remove the clamps because they aren't really needed because the board is screwed in. So as you can see in the background, I've got the two sides in the back done and now I'm starting to do the uh, drawers. So with the drawers, you do it basically the exact same as the outer shell. Um, I did it where the bottom is gonna sit inside the drawer not sit on top of the base of the drawer um, so basically I just clamped the two sides to the back piece and did the same method as the other one where you drill a pilot hole along with a sunken hole that the screw can sit in so it sits below the surface and now I'm just screwing in the screws to hold it together so this is what it looks like after the two drawers are made and constructed and now I'm just measuring the gaps to make sure that the drawers sit 
evenly within the outer box. So I'm checking the front and the back to make sure that they are centered and that way they can go in and out straight rather than at an angle. Um, you will then take your pen and mark lines running down the sides of the drawers to show where the guides are going to be mounted. That way you know that they're already going to be straight and they'll be the exact size that the drawers are. This just shows the lines for both the drawers. So this is once you have, I just took scrap pieces that I had and took the flat sides and drilled them down to the base. And that is what the drawers will slide on. I then have acrylic. You will take your acrylic cutter and your silicone. And the piece that's on the board currently is not the piece I actually use. I just had it there as reference. Um, but basically, that's what the silicone sealant looks like. You can buy it at Home Depot. And there's the acrylic. So basically, you take the sealant and you put it all on the bottom. And then I had a little scraper tool. And you have to push quite hard because the sealant is very thick and doesn't smooth out that easily. So you have to push very, very hard on it to flatten it out. So basically you want just a flat surface. And then I cut the acrylic to where it fits nicely and clamped it down, put some weights on it. Now I'm measuring the faces of the drawers. You can see that the one on the left is already completed and I'm currently measuring the one on the right. I basically had it so the drawer was big enough to where it sit flush with the top that way I wouldn't have to use some other sort of method to keep the drawer to stop at the face. Once you have them cut to the right size, you'll then take your wood glue, put it along the top, make sure you get plenty on there, so there's no air bubbles when you lay the top down. I then pre-marked little dashes on the drawer face. That way I would know where the corners needed to line up with the drawer. And then once you have them lined up, so they're centered to where you need, you can then clamp it down. I was just double checking that they were all lined up nicely. I then took the drawer, flipped it upside down. That way I could then drill little tiny three quarter inch screws to mount it to the back. These ones I did not drill a pilot hole because obviously I don't want to drill too far and go through the face. But also the screws were small enough to where you just push a little harder with your drill and they'll sink in so they're flush with the back of the drawer. Now I'm measuring out where the handle needs to go. This was a little tricky, but basically I just measured how long each hole between the handles were, and then from the center went out halfway each way, and then went down as far as I knew, which was five inches, because the drawer face is about 10 inches. And then from the back, I drilled a little pocket one, so that way the bolts from the back side could fit flush. So in here you can see that I've already started doing the in-between pieces where basically you just measure the gap and cut the right size you need. I left about a quarter inch gap between the drawers and the face trim pieces. I did all this before mounting the top, that way I had no problem getting into the shelves and everything. Um, you then put glue around all the edges, maneuver the top around to where it's all straight. As you can see, I am doing right here. You need to make sure it is perfectly straight and then you can take your clamps and clamp the top down before doing the drilling. 
So now that the top is done, I can then start wrapping the drawers in carpeting. This is just outdoor multi-use carpeting that I found at Home Depot. They had it in a couple different colors and this was the darkest they had, so I decided to get it. It's best if you have someone help, that way they can hold one side, you can hold the other side. Um, and then basically you're just gonna pull it tight and start, you know, massaging or rubbing the, all the bubbles out as you can see us doing right here. Um, the bottom we did not put glue on as where you can see where my hand was kind of poking at. That's because the part that's laying flat on the table is the front and I took a staple gun and the seam, we made it so the seam is in the back of the drawers up against the back seat so you're not going to be able to see it. Um, and then you basically just wrap it like a big Christmas box. But yeah, so this is where it was all wrapped. The front, you just cut out the front, fold everything over, tuck it in. It's pretty easy once you start doing it. And then you can slide it right in. And I made it so it is a perfect snug fit to where it fits perfectly between the two wheel well sections. And it slides all the way back to the back seats. Now I took the drawers, the handles are on them, and slide them right in. Overall, it was a pretty easy process, and I recommend doing it to save yourself from buying an expensive one, but hope you enjoyed the video, and subscribe.